I've got two mystery boxes from the company Toy USA. Each mystery box costs one hundred dollars a piece. So recently, they had what it's kind of like it's a one shot, one pop kind of a thing for thirty bucks a piece. I think they had like a thousand of them or some some crazy number. Um, kind of like a popcorn kind of number. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A crazy amount, way too many. And they ended up making a deal because uh, they couldn't sell them all. So if you bought four of them, they sold you four for a hundred dollars instead of it would have been one twenty. So it wasn't a bad deal. So I say, you know what? Give me two of them. Give me two of them. So there'll be a total of eight pops in these two boxes. Each box was inner box was like twenty five bucks a piece. So that's how Toy USA. I think I think it was a thousand of them. Some crazy number. Um, this is more of you're going to get out a lot of pops worth about fifteen bucks in these boxes. I think it wasn't a guaranteed value, but they said like the minimum value is around fifteen ish in that range in these boxes. So each one has four individual boxes. I don't know if they're actually like sealed. They are not sealed in any way, no. So, it's all a trust factor that these are legit mystery boxes. They are not sealed. They usually actually seal them, but this time they didn't. So, here we go. First one, $25. Hopefully something good. Does it come in a pop protector? Feels like it. First one. Oh, I was looking at Oof. Pennywise. I think we have all seen enough Pennywise Funko Pops to last a lifetime. They've made so many of these Pennywise Funko Pops. It's ridiculous they've made so many. So there's the first one. Uh, at the very end, we'll go back and we'll look through prices, see how well I did or how bad I did. So that's the first one. I know that's what's not worth 25 bucks. I think this is, this is actually a Walmart exclusive. Or they had one that was like this. Or it's just a common, like, common Funko Pop. Man, their boxes fit tight. Whoever they have their boxes made from, they need, like, loosen them up a little bit. Here we go, next one. What do we get? Scarlet Spider, Walgreens exclusive. I've actually never seen this one before. I've never seen this one. Scarlet Spider. Hope that's worth more than... You know, fifteen dollars. So there's, there's the first two. Right there's fifty bucks, and I don't have fifty bucks back in those two. I'll tell you that much. But yeah, this was like I said earlier. This is kind of like a high, high risk mystery boxes at thirty bucks a piece, or buy four for twenty five each. There were some pretty big grails available, but the majority of people will get just common pops or low end exclusives. Here's the next one. Back says Rick and Morty. Rick with portal gun. Okay, that's probably not worth very much. Here's the last one. First box. Wow, that first box, that was, was kind of rough. So, so far. Okay, last one, first box. Ooh, is this Bambi? Oh, a flower. Is this the original one? Yeah, from 14. Might have a little bit of value to it. Maybe. Uh, looks like actually a bunch of these come in the seven bucks a pop, pop shield, pop protectors. Awesome, a 0.45 millimeter pop protectors. If you want to get yourself some pop shield pop protectors, there'll be a direct link down below in the description box for seven bucks a pop. You can get these in 10 pack, 50 pack, 100 pack, 1000 pack. Yeah, they're good protectors. I'm just going to use the Funko app just honestly, because it's faster and Prices are getting better on Funko App. They're getting closer to what they should be. So first one, oh, not bad. Vaulted, it's actually worth 32 bucks. So this is actually worth, if I paid full price 30, that's, that's worth the full price. But So that's not bad. First one, $32, I'll take it. Next we got Rick and Morty with Portal Gun. Hot Topic exclusive, it's missing the Hot Topic sticker. So this would have been like an overseas one then without the sticker. It's worth the whopping $18. So without the sticker, that actually would hurt the value by a couple bucks. Um, usually does, but we'll just go by full PPG or whatever, Funko app price. Spider Scarlet or Scarlet Spider, 
2016 Walgreens exclusive, a whole 20 bucks. Oof, we're not doing well. Then last one, yeah, this is a Walmart exclusive. I thought it was. It's missing the sticker, so this would have been some kind of like an overseas one without the sticker. It's worth 20 bucks. Of course, without the sticker, that would hurt by a couple bucks. We'll just do full PPG. So that first box, I got it for a hundred bucks. The value of all four are ninety dollars. So I got back 90% of my money, which actually was pretty good, but nothing really of huge value in that first box. Highest thing was this flower. Um, since these boxes actually weren't sealed, you know, it, yeah, it kind of makes me wonder, you know, since I pretty much in that box, I got three pops in like the common price range, 15 to 18, and then one that was like over 30. So yeah, I just, yeah, okay kind of makes me question the legitimacy of these mystery boxes just because those white boxes are not sealed but mystery boxes are just a trust factor you have to trust the companies that they're doing it legit Toya say I've never questioned them that they they, they weren't doing it legit so hopefully you know it's just the first box was just kind of eh, you know so yeah these once again are not sealed in any way Usually they put their seal on it, or at least they tape it up. But even if you, even if you tape it up, it doesn't mean that it wasn't, you know, searched or rigged. Oh no! A scarlet spider, another one. Okay, that stinks. There's the first one. Number two. Hopefully this box doesn't mirror the first box. Please no. Oh please, I don't want two Rick and Mortys, two Pennywise, and two Spider, Spider Scarlets. Please no. <laughs> I really hope. We're about to find out, you ready? Next one, Iron Man, is this the overseas? Yeah, this is the overseas exclusive. It used to be worth like 50 bucks actually, but then I think the price dropped to like 35. Uh, after the movie came out, Infinity War. It might have actually, you know, it's probably worth about 30, 35 bucks. So what they said was these were all supposed to be sold individually. You know, you buy one, it was like $35 shipped. But um, if all these four packs, if each box has pretty much four commons and then one that's like 30 bucks, then... Uh, yeah, these weren't a random four boxes placed together. It was purposely three low end and one better one. So yeah, they weren't marketed that that way though. Hopefully it's not like that though. Next one, we got Alaska. This one actually went up in price recently. I think it got, uh, this actually got, was it vaulted I think, this Alaska. It's missing the sticker. I think, I think it's a Hot Topic exclusive, I think. I think. Last one, number eight. Yeah, so far I'm happy I didn't, I didn't buy any more than eight of these, or two boxes in total. Yeah, I'm not too impressed with these, so far at least. Last one, Dragon 2. We got Toothless. July 15, that's probably vaulted. Let's see some prices on this box. So first one, this is 2014 vaulted. It's worth a whopping $15. So which is like pretty much like bare minimum price that you could get. Alaska, Hot Topic exclusive, it's missing the sticker, but it's worth actually $29. So that's actually worth almost pretty much the full value of what I paid, would have paid for one box if I, if I paid full price. So 29 bucks. And Iron Man is worth 26. Man, it dropped even more in value. It used to be around 50. Then it was around 35. Now it's 26. Man, it keeps going down in value. But yeah, 26 bucks. 29 and 26. So that kind of actually shows that maybe these actually were random after all. Since there's two of like higher value, kind of higher value. And then 20 bucks. That last box is also worth exactly $90. The first box was worth $90. Second box is worth $90. Yeah, I don't like these two two boxes. I just don't like 
I don't know. I've got my suspicions about these two boxes. That these four weren't picked out randomly, you know? This was this was actually this was just a one hundred dollar mystery box with you know a guaranteed value of ninety bucks, I think, is pretty much what they should have called it. So but yeah. So anyway, yeah, I'm not too impressed with these. Luckily I, I only bought two boxes, eight in total. Luckily, thankfully, I didn't buy any more than that, because yeah, I don't I don't like these. So yeah, I told you to say I've never like questioned that they do anything shady. It's just yeah, I think these were marketed one way as a single, but then they lumped them together as four and they sold them a different way without actually relaying to us how they were actually going to do it. It was just you buy four, you save like twenty bucks. So anyway, that's it. That's all I got. I'll see you next time. I'm out.